Hi guys, this is Aaron. How's it going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to stop trackers from following you online. Let's go ahead and get started. So, I have a Google Chrome web browser of my choice, which is what I like to use, and we're going to install a few extensions. So, to get started, let's look for Adblock Plus. And the name itself tells you Adblock, so it blocks ads, and that's what we're looking for. So, you would go to the Google Chrome store, or you would go to the Mozilla plugins page, and you would click Add, and then that's it. Now, uh, the next tool we will be looking at is Ghostry. Ghostry is for Firefox and Google Chrome as well. The same thing you'll be doing from Adblock Plus, you'll be adding that, installing it, and it may even tell you that you might need to uh, restart the web browser. Then you'll be looking for NoScript. And NoScript is for specifically for Firefox. Now uh, this tool is very handy and will stop the XSS, uh, the clicking, uh, jacking uh, scripts from uh, running on you in the JavaScripting as well. So you don't have any other of those uh, pesky uh, plugins or uh, ActiveX or anything like that running in the background. No script lets you at, uh, allow it or deny it your way. And if you like this uh, extension, then you might want to look at script no, which is this exact same thing for uh, Google Chrome. And then um, now you also might want to take a look at do not track plus. And this is also for Google Chrome and Firefox. Do not track plus protects you so yourself and it stops the companies from tracking you. It stops over 600 trackers and it loads your websites faster and it, it's great. Go ahead and take a look at it and try it out for yourself. Now, uh, what you might want to do after you've installed all those is go into your settings. For Google Chrome, it'll be under t it will be under settings here on this right hand side, and then you'll go down to show advanced settings, and then under privacy, content settings, and then under cookies, you'll make sure this checkbox is checked: block third-party cookies inside data, and then just make sure that you clear out your uh, all the private data that you have after you're done uh, browsing the web. Until then. Um, let me see here. Uh, you also, if you're using a mobile web, brow uh, web browser, you might want to check into, um, let me see real quick, Atomic Web Browser. This is for iPhone and iPad and iPod. And this uh, basically has a, a ton of different features inside of it. The most important thing is it, it uh, really aims for privacy so make sure you check this out if you have it in the app store it's definitely worth checking out and now uh, for Android you might have heard of Dolphin and Dolphin is, uh, is also a web browser as well it uh, has a lot of different things to use it for. Uh, you have different types of uh, features, and it's definitely worth checking out. I honestly have not checked it out myself because I do not own an Android device, but something to consider and uh, to use in Firefox as well for Android. And then uh, also, it, when you're using those web browsers uh, for your mobile phones, always use the privacy mode on those if they have it available for you. Now, in my next video, I'll be probably showing you how you can browse, it, browse the internet without leaving a trace whatsoever. Until next time, this is Aaron. Take care, guys. Have a good, hap happy uh, Thanksgiving.